and she's out the old one is out obviously you see that so that I cut off zip zip and over here this I needed to zip zip right off basically same thing as that I don't know where that piece went I'll find it someday at any rate it's out and now it's time to get the new one in somehow out with the old and in with the new got the old one out and I didn't need to, to take the front bumper off although needed to completely remove all fasteners going up along the side fasteners holding this on because this is what holds the top of the uh, well this is the radiator top support um, and then this is the air conditioning condenser which conveniently ends up sitting in these types of, of things so that was fun um, should be fun getting this one in because getting this one out was a complete biatch stay tuned oh snaps oh snaps all right so that means that we're pretty much ready to go Ooh, looky looky oh yeah. new radiator installed new radiator installed look at this bet you didn't know this this is called a a bleeder valve not a valve but there's a little plug that you gotta take out that allows air to escape because this is just a tremendously awesome design when you're filling it air needs to go somewhere otherwise you're just gonna have air trapped in it and this thing you know just doing the whole squeeze technique doesn't really work anyways yeah so we're ready to go just gonna fill it i did it Woo -woo. she's filled and alive coolant temperature is currently 115 um that was using my blue driver app uh, it's an OB obd2 uh, app so, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's still cold. It'll be a little bit before that starts to warm up, but we're, uh, I think we're in good shape. I haven't seen any, any leaks. Those over there, those drops, uh, I had this paper, uh, cardboard repositioned but that was from filling it, so that's not a leak from it running. The other radiator would have been taking a piss right now, so um, so far this one looks like we're in good shape. Uh, I'm digging it.